I'll make sure everybody, every member receives a copy from the mayor. But, uh, and the I pass that on to. On that, I would like to thank all those members that actually uh, came and enjoyed their efforts on well worth um, memorial presentation engagement. And in there, I would like to thank all the members of staff who took part on that day and really helped to make it such a success for all the visitors. I was really uh, surprised the visitors that came from far and wide. We had people from uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Southampton, Lincolnshire, everywhere. It really was an amazing day. All those members of staff that helped on the day, I'd like to thank you greatly for that. It really was. I know it's <coughs> not right, but I will do. And I will name uh, Peter Lay, the money boots officer for the council, who did an absolutely sterling job. <laughs> There's an awful lot of work on into that. People don't realise it's taken about three three years from the installation of the first first discussion for it to actually take place. I know the Lord left town is not too pleased with me, God and the Lord High Sheriff, but then uh, things things are things are taking place.
I'm just so impressed with the amount of activity and hard work that you and the mayoress have put into that work in terms of visits uh, and so on. I mean, as again, agree with Phil in terms of the importance of the place in the role of the uh, of our civic leader and how much they welcome a visit. And again, the other thing I think is uh, is universally true that each um, each man or woman I speak to, they are never cease to be astounded by the variety, the number uh, of different voluntary organisations there are there are outside the town hall and the work that they're doing across the world. And I think uh, the support that they receive from our civic head and that we see from you this year, Mr. Matt, I think is uh, is incredibly important and I know that it means a huge amount to those groups when when the mayor comes along and spends time <coughs> with them. Uh, the other thing I'm and again uh, sharing uh, with Phil if you will the uh, the way that you've chaired these council meetings, the sort of honesty and impartiality that you have demonstrated. I think it would be fair to say it's about all uh, and uh, that'd be quite interesting uh, being told by the chief executive how the new constitution works. But I think uh, of us all, Mr. May, you certainly seem to master them uh, as well, if not more than most. So uh, again, so on behalf of uh, my group, can I thank you and the Mayor Epson for the uh, great work that you've done and for the very fair way in which you uh, led the discussions uh, and sometimes arguments that we've had to have in this place. It's been a real credit to you. And I do hope that you have enjoyed every moment of it, and I know there's still time to come, and I'm sure you will continue to pack a lot of effort and hard work into that space. So, thank you very much for all you've done. Mr. Mayor, the honour to propose you for the high office some ten months or so ago, and I know there's still two months to go, but it's an extended period. But what I said on that night, was I described your ability to walk, or try to walk from your house down to the local shops and to actually be able to achieve that by talking to about eight or ten people on the way and passing the time of day and actually be able to get home again after about three quarters of an hour or more. Because what that underlined and what's shown throughout this year, Mr. Mayor, is <coughs> that ability that you have to relate to people of all walks of life. And throughout your year, you've demonstrated that warmth that humanity and that courtesy which has been evident throughout all the engagements you have undertaken. And I think I uh, might say you're, that's the first mayor of a new era in the sense that mayors now have to be modern mayors with certain powers and also operate within a, a modest budget compared to perhaps times past. So in that climate and in that, that period, you have set your mark upon the office. You have achieved respect for the mayoralty, recognition amongst the people of Wales, and contributed, I think perhaps defeated by the digital age, but contributed to a paper article <coughs> every week, which we've treasured, and which I hope the staff are putting together for you, and the, the digital age is way of keeping up with everyone. I think it's a thanks to all those staff in the background. The reason that I, as I walked in tonight, I noticed that one of the office staff there, is he stopping frames with the, the ideas of the Wirral Award for a ceremony tomorrow night? So all the old work is backed by the small team who work enthusiastically for the office. I'm grateful for what you've done this year, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Mr. thank you for, for the very kind of words. But once you realise you get yourself into this office position, it's an absolute pleasure to be in this, this way because uh, quite rightly, what is that? The amount of fantastic people that you meet around here who do endless good for the communities without want of recognition in any form is absolutely amazing. And it really does uh, well, recognition. I do try my best when I'm writing my commentary to mention <coughs> some groups that, that have come across and think of the way of mentioning uh, And it's great. I love having the school children and the questions are absolutely fantastic. They range from all the usual stuff, the absolutely rich, you know, helicopter aeroplane, uh, like every city within a mansion, or my best one yet. Because you live in a small year, man. This big building just for you. That's what I thought. 
today, I was at an event today where I was visiting the breast centre at Cambridge Hospital, which is one of my uh, charities I've been selected for this year. And I was really impressed by what's going on and uh, the ability to actually mix and make sure all things are right. In my discussions with one of the lead clinicians, we were talking about the, the good qualities of uh, healthy exercise and bringing people back into full fitness after surgery. Uh, and I mentioned, do you have anything to do with the, the local council in the area? And they were absolutely ecstatic that the work that they do together with the local authority in allowing patients who've been <coughs> to actually come in and use the facilities for a short period of time for me. That's was brilliant. I was really delighted to hear that today. Uh, I was up to push on that. We're doing, we're doing a really good job. So we are working together. It's fantastic. fantastic to see. So thank you all for the very kind comments. So we move on now to petitions. Are there any petitions? Yes, Captain. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, <coughs> uh, this is the ongoing petition I presented that uh, Budget Council uh, asking councils to reconsider the style of the piece of ongoing which is where it works. Yeah, I've got an extra 155 paper papers and 184 online signatures. Thank you. Councillor Lewis. Thank you. Hello. I'm a 35 day petition here against the pen, pending public application ADB stroke 140125 <coughs> for the proposal building two dwellings of Tony Bath Road. Okay, thank you. Uh, item 4, public questions. There are no public questions that have been received. Excuse me. <coughs> Minutes of the Budget Council meeting held on the 25th of February uh, 2013, contained <coughs> within pages 1 to 30 of the supplements. A. I will move approval of the minutes as a correct record. Do I have a second? Thank you. Are there any issues of accuracy in respect of the minutes? No. All those in favour, please show. It's unanimous. All those against? No. And there are abstentions. Thank you. Yeah. Soon to minute 77, the council has requested the notes the presets that have been issued, and to note the total amount of council tax for 2014-2015, for each of the categories that you are in, I believe the council has moved that they've been noted. So moved. Is there a second there? All those in favour, please show. Thank you. against? No abstentions. Thank you. Matters required and approved by the Council. Now we turn to item 6 on pages 1 to 188 of the agenda pack and pages 31 to 34 of the supplementary pack, which includes recommendations from the Cabinet Special Meeting earlier today. Yes, Bill. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can I, can I uh, at this point, we stand for another nine days that the Joint Team should be eight days from now? Thank you very much. Do I agree? Agree. Okay. Now we then move on to uh, the Standards and Constitution Oversight Committee on the 24th of February. Uh, Cabinet Member for the Economy. Sorry. No, I did say that. Cabinet Special Meeting on the 10th. And then Bill got up and asked to move the event. Yeah, sorry. Because Bill got up. Speak to uh, Sergio prior to and to say on items. We would be given an opportunity to uh, raise objections on some of those items. And I might have missed it when you asked for any objections on any items. I'm sure, it was a slip on my Please, Sergio. Yes, Mr. Director. Mr. Just simply summarising the matters that I could have been internally called on. Thank you. 
Okay. Of course. <laughs> right. Yes, Cabinet Member for the Economy, Planning Committee, 20th February, Licensing and Health and Safety Committee, General Purpose Committee on the 13th of November, 2013. Thirdly on item A on pages 1A, 1 to 168 of the agenda, the minutes of the special meeting of the Cabinet have been circulated. A. Cabinet 10th of March, 2014. I invite the leader to move the recommendation in respect of the combined vote. Is there a second? Is there a second? Is Chairman, now for 15 minutes, 